Rivet. Hi, I'm Ronnie. Um, do you have problems saying the difference between B and P in English? Uh, don't worry, it's okay. The reason why you have a problem with this is because in your native language, you don't have a B, B sound or a P sound. It's okay, I'm here to help you. I'm going to teach you the pronunciation of B and P. First of all, let's look at the written words. So the B, or the written letter, the B, like this, is a capital or a big B. And then we have the lowercase or the small B. Then we have the P, capital P and lowercase P. It is the same mouth movement that we're going to make, so this is why it's confusing. But there's one huge difference. And the difference is voiced and unvoiced. Now, a B sound will always be voiced. Voiced means that it will vibrate in your throat. So if you put your hand here and you make the B sound, buh, 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 it's going to always vibrate in your vocal cords. So try. Buh, 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 buh. Oh, that's fun. Buh, buh, buh. Do it at home. Don't do this on the subway. People might think you're crazy. If you want to say the word that's unvoiced, the letter that's unvoiced, it's p, p. So any unvoiced letter, it's not going to vibrate. So check this out. One is p, p. P does not vibrate, but the b, 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 b will vibrate. To make the sound, you put both of your lips over your teeth and blow out air. It's like you're smoking with a P, but the B, the only difference is you make your vocal cords vibrate, voiced. B, 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 and P. The best way to practice with these sounds that are difficult for you, um, we call minimal pairs. So minimal pairs are two words that have very, very similar uh, pronunciation, but we've got our problem. We've got the B sound and the P sound together. So if you practice them together, hopefully it will improve, or you will improve your English. So the first word, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the B sounds. Now, when you do this, you can put your hand on your neck or your throat and make sure that there's a vibration. So if we say b b b try good do it again b b b b you should feel the vibration next word we have is big b b b big by base but <gasps> then we also have the b and the p at the end of the word it's okay just make sure you vibrate the last part Pub, robe, now this one's in the middle, and then we have it at the, at the beginning, bleed, b -b bleed. So I want you to practice the B, make, b -b -b make sure that when you say it, your throat is moving or vibrating. Excellent. Okay, when we say the P, we don't have to vibrate or move our vocal cords. It's more like you're blowing out air. So we have play, p -p -p play, pig, pie, pace, put, pup. Now this, we have double, oh, double P, so it's pup, rope, and then plead. This one's a little bit difficult because you've got to get the L as well, so it's plead. So, I would like you to now practice the p sound. Remember, do not vibrate your vocal cords when you do this. Great, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the two words together and these are our minimal pairs. We're gonna say the words across like this so you can practice the sound and make sure you're saying them differently. So, we're gonna do this. Bay, b -b -b bay, and play. Bay, play. 
The next pair are b -b big and p -p 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 pig. Big pig. Buy pie. Base pace. But put. I'll let you practice those. When we have the sound at the end of the word, it's the same idea. You just have to make sure you vibrate. So we have pub and pup. Robe, rope. At the beginning again, we have bleed and plead. You try now. All right, on to something a little bit more difficult. This is the master level, if you're ready. Um, if I put these words into a sentence, this is where you're going to have to focus and concentrate on actually vibrating or blowing the smoke. So, repeat after me. The big pig played with the blade. The big pig played with the blade. So again, the B sounds are always going to be uh, vibrated, buh, 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 and the P sounds are not going to have a vibration. Oh, delicious. Next one. I drank a beer on the pier. I drank a beer on the pier. So, we have two words that are minimal pairs in a sentence. This one actually has four words that are minimal pairs. This one's a little bit more difficult. I gave that to you first. Did you do it? Um, now, a pier is like a dock. A pier is um, something that you can sit on and you're close to the water, maybe the ocean or the lake, and you can enjoy a beer. Or you can't. <laughs> Depends. And the last one, we have the bear. That's right. Ate a pear. Pear is a fruit. It is not red. Well, sometimes they're red. Looks like this. They can be this shaped or they can also be round, depending on where you are. The bear ate a pear. Do you think you can do it? So, I want you to practice. Remember, the B sound buh, 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 will always vibrate, and the P sound will not vibrate. If you're having problems with the B and the P, send me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell <laughs> and you can get all of my lessons for free. Wow! If you subscribe to my channel. My name is Ronnie. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>